Hey guys, Moana Pobear here, and today we're going to talk about what are basically the biggest business fundamentals. Let's get to it. So, hey, my name is Moana Pobear, and welcome to this channel. If you're new to this channel, this channel is all about me sharing and documenting my journey, owning lots of businesses over the last few years, many seven-figure businesses. Some of them make a lot of made a lot of money, some of them making a lot of money, some of them lost me a lot of money. So I have some kind of an experience I can share with you, and I'm also here to open your eyes on what's possible between growing a business in the regular conventional wisdom ways, which is mostly organically, doing more sales, more marketing, and compare it to growing your business by acquisitions, basically going out there and buy complementary businesses, buying your competitors, and show you that basically um, most people don't even know, first of all, that it's even possible to grow your business by acquisition. And I want to compare things and show you why I think personally that growing your business by acquisitions at some point is the best way to go and that's the fastest way to turn you from a business owner that is a, an operator and a day-to-day -day manager versus a business owner who is a shareholder and a chairman and an investor if that makes sense so you're basically going from more of a day-to-day -day involvement to someone who's just looking at the overall structure vision and high level decisions so if you're new to the channel like subscribe comment below let me know what you think and see the links in the description below there's a links for you to join first of all to one of them is to just send me your message and questions and based on your personalized questions i'm creating those videos so go and do that and there's also a link for you to join our free business buying mastermind group uh, there's also a group for business owners who want to grow by acquisitions and we show you not just internal and organic ways to grow but also compared to growing your business by acquisition so go and join those groups if you didn't yet those both are free groups and really really good to to check them out uh, but yeah that's that's it for the introduction let's get to today's topic so today i want to go through i guess what i see are the biggest fundamentals for success in a business and i want to talk mostly on kind of like to begin with the organic ways so in any business you could say that the fundamentals are things like sales operation marketing mindset finance and client delivery right so six things and I want to expand on each of them first and then I guess compare them to growing them organically versus compare them to go those things to go and buy those businesses and see if there may be those fundamentals in those businesses that you're looking to buy. So first of all, let's talk about uh, marketing and sales. So obviously, whatever business you have, you need to have a way to market your products and services. You need to find ways to generate yourself prospects on a regular basis and you eventually need to have a process to translate those prospects into sales. So that's kind of like the basic of marketing and sales. When you're a new business, you need to develop those strategies over time. I think the biggest and most important thing in a new business is to find whatever is the best marketing strategy and whatever is the best sales strategy. But until you have a proven process to bring a prospect into a client you basically don't have a business and that's kind of like the biggest challenge that the new businesses have they need to find from all the options and places they can go out there to bring clients they need to find what is the best way for them to take someone out there in the world and translate him or convert him from a prospect to a client in his business um, you can also have many people grow just by word of mouth and referrals that's one way to do it organically, um, but I think that if you really want to grow consistently, you need to find a way to advertise somewhere and then convert that advertisement into clients. Then let's talk about operation and delivery of your product. So at some point, you want to have a team that is helping you to grow your business. Otherwise, it's going to be really, really hard to do everything on your own. And again, I'm not talking about very small businesses. I'm talking about after you're doing six figures, at some point, you need to bring a team and you need help with operation and with client delivery you need to get to a point where you literally build yourself raving fans like people who really love you your products or services and what your business is bringing to the uh, marketplace if you don't have that it's going to be really really hard to scale your business um, because clients are not going to be happy and that's going to translate into whatever your products and services are right now Another really important aspect in a business is obviously your finances. And if you don't understand things like revenues, profit, cash flow management, it's going to be really hard to scale things um, behind some level. Um, yes, you can have a one, two, three million dollar a year business, but if you're not profitable or if you don't know how to manage cash flow, like I know businesses who make a few millions in sales, but the owner isn't taking anything home. I'm not even talking, I'm not talking salaries, dividends, consulting. There's just no profits in the business for him to take money out. 
but he can go out there and say, hey, I got this $3 million business, $3 million business, but in the end of the day, he got nothing. Yes, maybe he have assets in the business that are worth something, but is he, is he growing that way? Like, I think in the end of the day, when you're a business owner, the, the, the goal of a business is to bring in capital and to the shareholders, to the owner. And if you can't do that, you don't even really have a business. Obviously, part of the business is also, or the main thing is to add value to the marketplace. But in the end of the day, if the business isn't making money for the shareholders, the shareholders are gonna, not going to be happy. And you as the owner is probably the main shareholder. And if that's not the case, there's only so much that the business can survive. So the first goal of a business is to make the shareholder happy. If they're not happy, I don't care how much value you're adding to the marketplace. It's going to be really hard to sustain things if you don't have a module where there's some kind of profit to every revenue to, to revenue to your revenues, if that makes sense. And then it's all about your mindset as well. So I think people really they don't even talk about mindset and the fact that it's so important for every business if you're growing organically or by acquisitions, unless you have a good mindset. Uh, and I'm talking your mindset as the owner, the shareholder, the operator, if you are right now, and your team as well. So I think that you always need to have a process where you change your team mindset as well. You're talking about goals, about the vision, about really changing their mindset to make sure things are going better with them. If you don't have the right mindset, it's really hard to scale things. I really, really believe that the level of your business is basically the level of your mindset. And whatever your business is, is basically just a mirror of your, as the owner, as the main shareholder of your, it's just a mirror of your mindset. So those are the fundamentals of the business. Now, there are two ways to be better at those fundamentals. And one of the problems I see is, first of all, that many owners they try to be experts in everything. I think that you do need to have basic understanding of all of those topics when you're a business owner. But then when I see people try to master everything separately, I think it makes no sense because I think as a business owner, as someone who is doing something in life or have anything to do with business, you can only be good at a few of those things in my opinion, based on your personality, your experience, your background and all that. And I think with the other stuff, you either want to bring someone in or ideally you just want to bring someone in who is a master in that space. Now, there are a few ways to grow in the, those areas, right? We talked about marketing, sales, operation, client deliveries, all those things. Uh, mindset, obviously, you have a few ways to grow there. One of them is to grow everything organically. So with marketing, to always find the best new way to bring in prospects. With sales, to always find the best sales process to, or to always change your scripts or to bring coaches and consultants to help you with your sales process and pay them a lot and really evaluate things and adjust things after thousands of meetings and clients calls and all those stuff that's one way right and same with your products right with product deliveries and all that stuff you can always taste things test things and and try to do r d internally and, and be the best that you can internally and grow those things internally or Compare that to grow by acquisitions. If you try to buy other companies, just compare that to that for one second. Let's say you have an existing business and there's another business that you're trying to buy. They also have those fundamentals like marketing, like sales, like operations, like client delivery, like their mindsets right now. And what I like, what I love about growing by acquisitions is that you can basically tap into that business. Um, you could say fundamentals immediately. So for example, every successful business that you're looking to buy, they already have a proven marketing system. Otherwise, that business wouldn't grow to that level. Every successful business have a proven sales process. Otherwise, they wouldn't have a successful business. And when you're trying to buy that business and you buy that business, you basically get access to those processes and systems from day one of owning it. And instead of trying to test things and adjust things internally, you can literally tap into those resources in one day and you can save yourself so much money and time. So again, you can grow things organically, but it will take you so much time to adjust your marketing, to adjust your sales, to adjust your products and delivery and operations and always work on your mindset. Again, by growing it internally and going for coaches and consultants or going to events and learn everything you can to grow in each of those uh, aspects. And there are literally consultants and coaches in all of those things internally. You can find a coach just for sales, just for marketing, a coach just for operations. So many things you can do, but instead of that, you can just take that capital, 
combine that with capital that you can bring from financial institutions and you can buy existing profitable business that already got those fundamentals that again those fundamentals can be far ahead of you because they are already successful they're already proven and you can tap into those things from day one when you're the owner of that new business you can see everything you can see their marketing process you can see their sales process you can see everything in there and you can tap into new products and new services and new employees as well and talent so that's why i really really believe that again growing by acquisitions i think it's so much more lucrative and it's so much more fun as well to do a deal guys it's, it's the best feeling ever so and, and again there's nothing wrong with growing organically it's just going to take you so much more time and it's just a decision in the end of the day of what do you want to do do you want to be an operator all of your life or do you eventually want to try and um to, to change yourself into becoming an owner shareholder or an owner investor so that's how i see things and again there's nothing wrong with growing organically it's just going to take you more time so that's that's it for today that, that's my lesson remember there are business fundamentals but there's two ways to grow it one of them is internally one of them is by acquisition if you want to explore if growing by acquisitions is for you me and my team were involved in more than 300 transactions like that and if you want to see if that can work with you, go to moanpover.com forward slash talk and see the details there to schedule a call with us. Otherwise, um, yeah, that's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. See the links in the description below. Like, subscribe, comment, help me grow the channel. And yeah, I'll see you soon. Hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.